Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in for another episode. We got the fall season going on, which means we're gonna have some content regarding jerk baits, one of my absolute favorite baits, the fish. And I want to share with you what I consider to be the number one jerk bait color that the pros use. This is a color that when it first came out, very few people threw it. And now it's so common that most manufacturers of jerk baits have a color that is identical to very, very similar. And it's because this color flat out catches fish. It's my number one favorite color. And right now I'm at the point where I just am happy that every manufacturer offers it. But when I first started seeing other people use it, I was pretty disappointed because the fact is, I know that this, this color generates more strikes for me and a lot of other anglers. And it works in almost all watercolors. That's one of the keys to it. This is a bait that you can carry and it'll work from uh, gin clear water all the way up to muddy water and it makes it a very versatile bait and as we all know we all like to have baits that are versatile because it saves us some money in the long run so i want to give you a little background on this uh, my first professional tournament which was 13 years ago at this point was on beaver lake the flw tour we kicked it off there it was like i think the first time they ever started the tour at beaver lake and it was a february event I don't know that we reached highs over 40 degrees the entire time. The water temps was 38 to 40 degrees. So it was very cold, a very tough event. I went there with the mindset that I was going to fish a jerk bait. A jerk bait's one of my strong, uh, strongest baits. It's one of my confidence baits. And as you all know, I think you should fish confidence baits, especially when fishing is tough. So I went there, my first event, I was intimidated by all the other guys there and I fished for three days during practice and I rotated through probably 15 different types of jerk baits, different jerk bait colors, and I was only able to get bit on one color. That's how specific it was. I ended up finishing the event in the 40s. I was in 10th place after the first day. On day two, I lost. Uh, I lost a really big smallmouth that would have put me way up in the standings. But the fact is, it was my first event ever and I cashed the check and I owe a lot of it to the specific bait. The specific color is really what it came down to because I, I did catch fish on two different baits in that color. Uh, so a little bit more background on that story. Uh, there was a specific type of rock that I found that the fish were holding on. And I was able to go there. This is before live scope. This is before you know, a, a small swim bait. So really the best cold water bait at that time was the jerk bait. And I found one area that I knew had a bunch of spotted bass in it. I had uh, the, the first bite I had there in practice, I had like four other spotted bass follow it up, which was really something because I think I went, I had one primary creek arm where I was getting bites. And I think over the course of those three days, the one day I spent in the one creek arm and that's where I ended up fishing the entire tournament. The other two practice days, I think I had one bite each day. So when I when I found what was the area I fished in the tournament, one of the spots, I had a whole bunch of spotted bass chase my bait back to the boat. And at that time on Beaver Lake, in that event, if you caught a limit of even spotted bass, you were doing something. So uh, I knew there were a bunch of fish there. And in practice, this was the first day of practice, so I didn't think it was that tough, but I, I caught one of those fish. I had a bunch more followed up on this specific color, and then I rotated baits because I knew there were other fish there. I rotated baits, and I threw, I think, three or four different jerk baits because I had four rods rigged with jerk baits up during that practice period. I could not get another bite. I rotated back to the original color where I caught the fish and first cast caught, caught another one. And it was just something where I'm like, okay, here we go. That entire practice period for three days, I rotated. I would throw one jerk bait for probably 15 minutes, pick up the next one, rotate through. And every time I came back to that specific color, I generated a bite. So that's what first made me a very strong believer that that color is a very good bait. And this was one of my favorite colors back here in Wisconsin but I didn't realize how good it was across the country. So the specific color and the bait that I was throwing was just a straight Vision 110 
I always have called it elegy bone, uh, but I think it's elegy bone. And at this point, this color has become extremely popular. It's offered, uh, Berkeley's got one, so the Berkeley Stunna. You can see it's a very similar color. Yozuri's got one, Six Cents has one, Lucky Craft makes one. Most jerk baits, most of the more well known jerk bait companies make a color similar to Elegy Bone or Elegy Bone, whatever it is that you want to call it. The Berkeley one calls it Shad Filet. Uh, they all have their own name with it. But there's a couple of things I want to point out about this color that have made this so popular with most of the very hardcore jerkbait fishermen out there. The first is you've got a very good strike detection color on the bottom, meaning it's a very bright chartreuse that irritates the fish and generates them into biting. So if you're talking about fishing around smallmouth or spotted bass, Chartreuse is always a great a great color to have on your baits, whether it's a full bottom like that or just a little bit of a small uh, spot of it. The key here is that really appeals to spotted bass and smallmouth. Next up, what I'd point out is it's a translucent body. The translucent body here uh, is something that makes this a very good bait in super clear water conditions. But having said that, you've got a herringbone uh, a darker herringbone silver that runs down the sides. And what that does is it almost creates the, gives the bait more of an opaque appearance, which then again, allows it to be used in more off colored water. But the chartreuse on the bottom is really the key. If you want to throw this in dark water or muddy water, the chartreuse almost acts as a uh, very strong opaque colored bait. And I think a lot of us know at this point that chartreuse appears to be more of a white underwater, which then gives it that shad appearance and therefore makes it a good muddy water bait. Lastly, what I'd point out on this is the back of this has a like an iridescent blue to purple. Now, what I have found out on the Ozark Lakes since then, and I've seen it throughout the country, is there are a lot of times when shad give off this this purpley type violet color on the back. And to me, that's something that really matches the hatch. Up here in the North Country, if you've got a body of water that has rosy reds in it, it matches them really well. Down in the Ozarks, there is the shad have this iridescent color. If you're fishing over in the, the uh, Southeast where you have a lot of blueback herring, it has the same back, that same iridescent color that matches the blueback herring. So it's a bait that appeals all over the country. Spotted bass, smallmouth right off the bat because of the chartreuse. If you're trying to match the hatch, the back, the back on it uh, matches most bait fish. And then at the same time, you're, you've both translucent and opaque characteristics, which make it a good clear water and muddy water bait. And that to me is the reason why it's my favorite color, as well as a lot of other pros who have found the power of this bait. It's no longer my secret color jerk bait because it's one of the most popular colors, which we've seen across the board by most major manufacturers making a color similar to elegy bone or a leggy bone, whatever it is that you want to call it. If you haven't thrown this color, I think you should. It's uh, my go-to jerk bait color. It's probably the first one I pick up on almost every lake. Now I'm not saying it's the best color all of the time, but it's one of the best colors to start you off in the right path to figuring out what direction you wanna go with respect to your jerkbait colors. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, subscribe to the channel. If you haven't already, hit that like button and stay tuned. We'll have another video coming out tomorrow.